Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to integrate Flyway, a database migration tool into your Spring Boot application. So let's get started. First I am going to go to start.spring.io, select Gradle project, language Java, use the latest Spring Boot version, put your group name artifact name and for dependency the usual web, uh, JPA. I'm gonna connect to MySQL so I'm selecting MySQL driver if you are using separate database you can select that and uh, for uh, flyway of course the flyway migration dependency so after selecting that generate the project and open it with your favorite IDE I'm using IntelliJ IDEA here basically you first get the build.gradle like this and uh, straightforward uh, main class everything else is empty and uh, this folder is going to be created for you db.migration under a resources folder so first what you want to do is in the build.gradle add the flyway plugin and your uh, flyway in the flyway task modify the database URL username and password so it will be your username and password for the database and URL after that uh, if you can work with the existing database or uh, you can work with a clean database in both cases it will be same so let me open my database uh, browser and uh, show you in my database I only have a uh, book table and uh, currently it doesn't have anything i just want to show you how you can work with existing database over here so in the existing database you could have many tables uh, the procedure will be same okay uh, next in the build.gradle uh, after setting it up what you want to do is inside your uh, this db.migration you want to create a file uh, the format will be something like v as version and, and then your version number so if it is 1.0 then you put 1 underscore 0 and then double underscore to separate the version and you can put any name you want after that so maybe any dot sql to give it uh, some description okay so initially you don't need to put anything uh, if you're working with existing table or uh, if you're working with uh, a clean database in both cases uh, for for the first time you do not need to add anything into the first uh, init sql uh, next in the gradle window or you can run it from the uh, terminal so in the terminal uh, it will be uh, gradle w slash flyway dot baseline so in the terminal you can run uh, flyway dot baseline so this will be your first command so I'm going to run it from the Gradle window. You can do it from the terminal. So for existing database or new database in both cases, run this uh, Gradle task first. So you should see successful. And uh, so uh, if you go to the database, you see other than your uh, regular table, you will see a new table getting created. And in here you will have all the information regarding your flyway migration uh, information. Next, uh, let's say you want to add a column to this table or create a new table, whichever it is, you just create similar file like this, change the version number, maybe version 2 and inside, and inside that you put your update statement like uh, maybe alter table or create a new table. Add a table also. Okay, that's done. Next, you just have to run the flyway migrate. In the database, you will see a new table is created, and if you go to the book table, you'll see your new column as also created. Uh, now uh, if you create 
I mean do something similar uh, like this create another file and inside uh, add another alter column and if you don't uh, you are not uh, running this flyaway migrate but if you run the application Uh, well, you will see some error like this if you do not have the configuration for regular database communication with your uh, JPA and your application. So for uh, JPA, first add the uh, database configuration and let's run the application again. Anyway, this time it will run and uh, if you see the database, uh, the book you'll see that this column is added. So even if you are not running the uh, flyaway migrate, you'll see it is automatically ran by the application. Uh, if you want this behavior, that's fine. But in case if you don't want this automatic uh, migration, in that case, you have to add a bean. Import the necessary classes and this tells uh, whenever I am running I do not want to do any automatic migration so that's what it does now if I uh, create another uh, migration script like this and uh, maybe get time something like that whatever uh, and uh, rerun the application you will see this uh, date time is not added currently uh, so it just says uh, automatic migration uh, do not do any automatic migration so that's all it uh, says but uh, now if you run this uh, flyaway migrate manually and then go to the database you'll see it is being added so that's something uh, you might want to know about this migration so that's it uh, that's all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you liked it if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments below the code for this uh, will be posted on github and the link will be posted on the video description so that's all thank you for watching bye bye